For the church fathers, for the founders of Christianity, the first and most important purpose of marriage and sexuality was to produce children. Every single branch of the church for 1900 years affirmed that children are a blessing and that we have no business seeking to say no to God's blessings. Yet today, we live in a culture where there is no fundamental difference on the issue of child prevention between the Church of Jesus Christ and unbelievers. There was a time when birth control was unthinkable, when contraceptives were unthinkable. Birth control is contraception or family planning. The use of mechanisms to prevent fertility or to prevent pregnancy. And what it means to many Americans is a deliverance from responsibility, a deliverance from the responsibilities of children, yet having all the pleasures of adulthood. Birth control, now more a cultural term than a medical term, was coined by Margaret Sanger. Margaret Sanger was a committed feminist, committed to eugenics, that is the, the slaughter of those who she perceived to be a lesser race. Margaret Sanger had succeeded in reframing the debate so that uh, opposition to birth control and abortion was seen as a Catholic thing, not Protestants. Protestants were for liberty. She understood you cannot destroy Christianity without destroying the family. You must destroy the father, you must destroy motherhood, and you must destroy babies. It has only been in the 20th century that Christians have publicly embraced the lifestyle of child prevention as biblical theology. People want convenience. People want their lives to be easy. But that's not what the Word of God bears out. Jesus wants us to give up our lives for Him. The only question is how will we give up our lives? There are a million ways in which the serpent has gotten the church to think his thoughts after them. This is one of those places where we are fed in our selfishness and viewing children as a burden. But the core of the issue remains. Is there a man-made authority to actually inject control over the processes that God has put into place. When there's a difficult issue, a hard question, go look at the history of God's people. And if you see God's people throughout the history of the church, 100% of the people took the same view, there's a pretty good chance that that's the right view. To better understand how birth control is truly a man-made concept, a historical review is in order. The history of birth control and its impact on the church, marriage, and family.